Hello, it's Jason Bam, Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. I'm dressed a little different today because it is freaking cold in Texas. We don't have winters, we have cold fronts, and we had a doozy come through last night. So we're looking at it's been raining and misting all day, and it's about 35 degrees. So it's a little chilly in Texas, but five days from now, we'll be back at 65. Anyways, we are at Newcomb, uh, let me get his name right, John Newcomb Estates. It's a tennis uh, community. They've got a bunch of tennis courts and a really nice area, but it's an exclusive gated community in New Braunfels, Texas. Not far from all the shopping, but it's a beautiful community. And this house is built by Perry. Let's go check it out. Now this is a pre-existing home built by Perry. It was built in, I mean not 19, 2016 and uh, check out this community it is nice very quiet lots of beautiful homes in here and uh yeah we are just uh, off mission road off 46 just super quiet community now i'm doing this video because i have a client who might be interested in buying this house and if so i'm gonna keep this link uh private for a little while but if he passes on it, I'll make it public for everybody to see and realize I represent potential buyers. I do not represent the seller of this house. All right, let's go on inside. This is a beautiful house here. It's also windy, so the wind just blew the door open. All right. If you hear someone else talking, that's because the my potential buyer's daughter is here scoping out the house too. So she's currently FaceTiming us. All right, and if you're watching this video, hi Chuck. All right, notice the details that are in here. Watch this little uh, pattern that they have put in this, uh, um, uh, what is it called, a little set in things. The rocks here, they've carried that all through the house. It's a nice little thing that they've done. They have beautiful floors. Anyways, this house was built in 2016. It's 2899 square feet. It is a beautiful home, but the details and the paint job they already had. I mean, for a house that's five years old, this is a beautiful home. And five years old is not an old home. So I'm going to try not to film too much of this guy's personal stuff, like family pictures and stuff. But obviously, he likes golf. Beautiful front entrance office. Oops, I forgot. I need to take my boots off because, yeah, it's a little rainy outside. All right, got the boots off. But also notice the shutters. Um, these are some high-end shutters they put on here. Um, people don't realize how expensive uh, blinds are for houses until all of a sudden they're having to get them put on their newly constructed houses. But they're not cheap and those are some high-end luxury ones. Granite in the in this uh, bathroom off, off the office. And they have a shower with a built-in step with an arm pull. So if you got someone who's having a little knee issues and don't like uh, has a little trouble getting up, that's already set up for you. But this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So now we're gonna go into the bedroom. This is perfect if you want someone to have a little mother-in-law suite. So they have their own bathroom, a living space, office right there. There's the shutters again. Tall ceilings here. All right, there's back to the office. Beautiful upgraded door right there for the office. All right, let's check out the garage here. So, like I said, someone does live here. So it's a standard two-car garage. Not too big, but kind of standard, a little narrow. All right, back to the main living area. Just beautiful ceilings in here. We do have a formal dining room. 
and they've done a great job just decorating them like that the beautiful chandelier coming in there just a nice style all right now we've got another hallway coming off the main entry with its own bathroom with adult size vanities I say that because you see some houses where you have to bend over and my bender doesn't work too well anymore. But you do have a, a good sized laundry room with the shelves already built in. And another bedroom back here. And these handles, if you were to get a house built, that's going to be a pretty significant upgrade. People are shocked at um, sometimes the cost of upgrading from your standard handle to those. All right, they have those shutters in here as well. All right, notice earlier in the video, they've got this themed and all the uh, little inlets going through here. They put some effort into doing this house and I'm surprised they're selling it after just living in it for about four to four and a half years. All right, check out this main living space. Now that is what I call an island. They do have the built-in oven and microwave. There's that uh, stone pattern again. Now this is a get, uh, electric community, so you're, I mean, uh, so you're gonna have electric range. Hopefully that's not a deal break for, breaker for everybody, but it's nice they've got the uh, undermount lights already. This beautiful pantry, this is just nice. So let's check out, see what the inside of the pantry looks like. Hey, I don't film too many of them that are actually full, but there you go. All right. They do have what I prefer as the sinks, as not a 50-50 sink, because you can actually put a full skillet in there. All right, we got plenty of living space here. And something that, because it's a Perry home, and I've been in a lot of Perry homes, they've got extra storage kind of tucked away underneath the big island. So that comes in very handy when you're trying to find a little place to hide stuff because, well, when you have a beautiful island like this, you don't want a bunch of crap on your island. So it's nice to be able to tuck things away. Let's go see what's behind this uh, cool little door here. What's this? Extra pantry space because you notice that other one's a little crowded. Well, you get two pantries in this house and they've got it hidden away really nicely. Ooh, they even got a little wine fridge. But a really nicely done living space here crown molding all the way around and there's our beautiful rock pattern again on this fireplace and they went with a full hearth uh i've been in the design center for perry quite a few times that's not cheap nope 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 Plenty of space if you wanted to do something else with that dining room area to put your full table right here. So you don't need to have the full dining room and a breakfast nook if you want to convert that to something else. Let me show you a closer look at these blinds. You can pop these open, dust the back side of them. Let me make sure I fix that. Now they'll push it in a little bit. All right but they really do a good job just kind of blacking out the light if you're trying to do movies. 
All right, let's go check out the backyard. They got a beautiful covered patio that kind of wraps around. Out here, uh, I can tell this, this family who owns this house that are selling it, they like to grill. And I like to grill too, so our game recognizes the game, you know. So they've got this long trail going up here to the AC. They've got an what looks like an extra large big green egg tucked underneath there. And if you want to get it good into grilling, I highly recommend the big green egg. That's what I grill on. Now this is not the biggest backyard. And I'm wondering if uh, this is why the house has been sitting on the market a little bit because it's not completely small, but also has a shed built into it too. So this is a four, four and a half year old house that already has a shed. And I like the fact they got the upgraded shingles matching the shed, matching the house on the shed too. There's a lot of details in this house. But you do have the wrought iron fence on the side so you don't feel completely closed in. I hear a little doggy poo back there. All right, let's head on back in because it's a little chilly and I took my boots off and my tootsies are getting cold. All right, let's go check out that owner suite. All right, the owner suite here, they've got some beautiful windows there with, of course, those high-end uh, blinds or shutters. They got some big furniture in here. This is a pretty good size room, but that big furniture, that's a king size bed. Uh, this is really nice. Everything seems to be really good shape too. There's that rock pattern again. But I love the space in here. I mean, they've got, they've turned this into a really nice looking retreat. You do have dual vanities with the frame mirrors and everything kind of matches and ties together. The other vanity. Your uh, privacy windows right there. Let's check out the closet. And they got a lot of clothes. And their off season area, they've got a bunch of little sport jackets and stuff. It's a good use of it because if you're not wearing those jackets all the time, you don't need them readily available. And the other clothes that they don't wear all the time, they go up high. All right, let's check out the shower. Water closets through that door. Yeah, you don't need to see that. It's just, just a toilet. All right, you do have your shower kind of tucked away in here. It's a large shower with a uh, inset. And they've got these, uh, the tiles going up quite a ways here. So that's really cool. And this is just a, a living closet. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this house. It's a Perry home. It was built in 2016. About 2,800 square foot in a very quiet, secluded neighborhood. And if you know someone who's big into tennis, you got to check this out because it's great. And if you're not in tennis, who cares? It's a great community. It's gated. It's close to New Braunfels. And uh, the asking price is, was it almost 500? Dad, what was the asking price? 494. I don't have my sheet just for. Five, 495. So. Uh, if you're interested, reach out to me. Uh, if my client here passes on this, I'll make this video public. And uh, I represent potential buyers 
not the seller of this house. All right, talk to you soon. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.